Hey guys, happy Fitting Friday. This week we're gonna do something a little bit different and focus all of our fitting questions on toe pads and padding because today is also the launch of our brand new fabulous toe pad called the Point Pocket. So our first question for today is, do I have to wear toe pads with Gainer Menden? And the answer is really, it's up to you. Um, you don't have to, there is built-in padding in the shoes. Some dancers do choose to wear thin pads, thin padding is better. If your feet are getting sore in your shoes, it's probably best to get refit rather than add something that's just gonna make your shoes tighter and more uncomfortable. A lot of dancers think that adding padding means more uh, comfort, but not necessarily. At the end of the day, remember that you are dancing on your toes. You, no point shoe you wear is gonna feel like your bedroom slippers, and adding more padding does not always equal more comfort. Okay, so generally speaking, with toe pad or with uh, point shoes, the less padding or the thinner padding you can use, the better, and that's because it allows you to get a better fit for your point shoes, which is better for their functionality. The point pockets specifically use a really thin gel. It's similar to the ouch pouch, but it is thinner, so it gives you better floor feel. Um, we do not recommend using like thick silicone pads. Uh, they just cause a lot of problems related to the fit. You should replace your padding when you feel like the toe pad or the padding that you're using isn't giving you the same amount of comfort and support as it was when you first started. Remember that if you're using something like a box liner or an instant wing, it should last you for a couple pairs of shoes. Point pockets are our brand new toe pad and they look like this. You see the tiara? Yeah. So they're light pink and they have a cute little tiara on the front. Um, they are a gel, a very, very thin gel. And the gel does go all the way around the foot. Now, my favorite thing about the point pockets is that because of where we have the seams, they're not on the side of your foot and it lets us have a seamless um, top part of the pad. You should definitely wash your toe pads if you're using them. Um, washing them about every week with like a gentle detergent and hand washing them is really good and it'll help your pads last longer. Keeping your padding and toe pads fresh and clean is a really important part of foot hygiene. It can help prevent infections and ingrown toenails and you really don't want to be that dancer with really stinky toe pads. If you want to learn more about caring for your shoes, for your feet, and for your toe pads, you can also check out our video on Shoe Care 101. We always recommend the thinner the better because we always want to make sure you're wearing shoes that are best for your feet and not just to accommodate your cushion. I would definitely recommend our point pockets because they're the perfect amount of padding that still uh, is comfortable for your feet. It depends on the padding you're changing to. So if the padding is relatively similar in thickness, you may not. However, it's always a really, really good idea to get refit anytime you change what's going in your shoes and to make sure that you are fit with what you intend to use.
Our shoes are built with a lot of cushion already inside, so we have a lot of smaller fitting accessories like our instant wings and box liners and other various cushions that sit really well in our shoe. If you're looking for something a little more full coverage, try our point pockets. Thanks so much for tuning into this month's Fitting Friday. We've been so excited to announce our new point pocket, so make sure you swipe up to get yours today. And make sure you tune in next month for the next Fitting Friday. Thanks, bye.